Right now the printer is extruding uh, at the minimum set speed of 2.5 uh, cubic millimeters per second to have a sort of uh, re reference value uh, at which uh, the slipping between uh, extruder gear and filament should be negligible. Then it will t it will be tested at increasing uh, speeds of 5, 7 and a half, 10 and 12 and a half cubic millimeters per second. Each uh, extruded filament uh, will be weighed afterwards and uh, compared. Instead of measuring the length of the filament the in input, it will be measured the, the weight the, of the output will be weighted. The balance used is uh, accurate to 10 milligrams in theory, so it should be able to get a relatively good accuracy and low uncertainties. In this case, at each speed, the filament extruded is 25 centimeter to get. Mm -hmm. Okay, the printer has uh, moved to the second position and the extrusion speed now is twice what it was before. You can see some steam coming out of the nozzle. Probably there is some, uh, still uh, some uh, humidity in the filament even if it has been dried in the oven for a few hours several hours and a uh, few months ago and it has been kept uh, in a box uh, sealed and with silica uh, gel where within which uh, the humidity is kept at uh, around five percent usually zero when the silica is dry and then it increases up to eight to ten percent at which point i dry the silica again In, at this speed the, the filament uh, swirl is much nicer and uh, there is less spaghetti around compared to the first run. Now the printer is extruding at uh, seven, and a half, 7 and a half cubic millimeters per second. The filament is uh, uh, yeah. Bowden provided, is uh, fed uh, via Bowden tube and uh, this is the old uh, extruder from the printer boot uh, which has been just adapted um, with the attachment for a the tube uh, using scrap plastic basically then uh, another uh, uh, tube is uh, providing the filament from the box from which uh, in which uh, different filament are stored so that uh, no air uh, should be uh, in contact uh, with the with the filament uh, even during a uh, long uh, prints at uh, seven and a half cubic millimeters per second it's possible to see that the filament is not being extruded cleanly anymore but uh, there must be some uh, defect uh, in the nozzle um, maybe some dirt or something so that uh, the filament uh, goes on one side it's very likely uh, 10 cubic millimeters per second I think the filament will curl up and will uh, collect on the nozzle so it's uh, it, it will have to be cleaned constantly it is possible to see how uh, the different color of the filament uh, during the cooling it's very shiny when it's hot and then it becomes uh, uh, whiter when it's cold now the 
printer is extruding at 10 cubic millimeters per second. So now the, the nozzle must have cleaned itself up a little bit because of the, the curling uh, decreased. The hot filament is collapsing under its own weight now. The, the deposition rate is higher than the cooling. Oh. millimeters per second at least in theory and now we will see Nice and shiny and opaque. The extruder is very active. Here are the results of the extrusion test of the hot end. Two and a half, five, uh, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half cubic millimeters per second, and there is a scale. Two point oh two, one ninety eight, one ninety six, one ninety six now apparently. 195, 195, 2, 2, 2, again. So this is a little uh, different from what I measured earlier uh, by myself but in general uh, the difference between them uh, is constant. So this is what I measured earlier and now instead of the 202, 203 we have 198, 199 and 197 what was it? Two or two now, for example, one and eight. So in general, uh, there is a constant shift between the two, uh, but this is the 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 trend. So in uh, general, here is about uh, yeah. This uh, is uh, two eight ninety nine. This one ninety one ninety three three two two two. Let's say one ninety two and one ninety two. So Uh, there is a sort of it's uh, there is um, first a decline and then it's constant. In 
in this case it's difficult to tell which is the optimal printing speed to keep the quality because uh, there is an immediate drop in the beginning and in this case I will calibrate uh, the A steps, E steps, extruder steps at uh, 195 knowing that uh, there will be um, around uh, two and a half uh, difference at, uh, do at uh, 195 uh, reference then we will have uh, uh, plus uh, uh, eight four percent this is four plus two percent uh, minus two percent or about minus um, well, one percent two percent three the one and a half here the other side three to be so in this range the results will be not optimal but okay considering that it's a uh, almost eight year old hot end waiting to be replaced as soon as the spool will be done